Here on Weekend Magazine, we subscribe to the philosophy that human beings are intrinsically funny. However, your would-be professional prankster would never be caught dead without his or her favorite bag of tricks. Gotcha! Ah, the squirting flower, a classic humor gag, and just one of many products manufactured by a group known as the Johnson Smith Company. Never heard of them? Well, let me tell you a story. The setting of our story is the fair, north midwestern burg of Mount Clemens. It's an average town, I guess, at best. A couple of gas stations, some tree-lined streets, a farmer jack. A strange zoning ordinance here requires several businesses to locate under the same roof, by the way. But I digress. Mount Clemens is also home to a rather unusual place. One of a kind, as far as we can tell. It's called the Johnson Smith Company. What goes on behind these doors? Well, the mind reels. Remember the comic books you read as a kid and way in the back past the exploits of Spider-Man and Archie and Jughead were ads for all kinds of nifty gadgets. Mini spy cameras, sea monkeys and garlic flavored bubble gum. Well, that's the kind of stuff that Johnson Smith specializes in. So with it being April Fool's Day and all, we figured, hey, why not come to beautiful Mount Clemens and visit the Johnson Smith Company, share some laughs, relive fond childhood memories, and find out exactly what possessed these folks to carve out such a unique niche in American business. But when we contacted the vice president of Johnson Smith to set up a tour, this is the response we got. Ms. Clark, references made to your suggestion regarding a joke project for April Fool's Day. Appreciate your thinking of us. Unfortunately, we are not able to get together to devote the time to this project. Thanks for your call and suggestion. Cordially, Craig Tarbeck. In no uncertain terms, despite atrocious spelling, Mr. Tarbeck refused our admittance on the ground of being too busy. Now, I don't know about you, but I find it kind of hard to believe that the folks who spend their day in that building, up to their eyeballs, amid boxes of whoopee cushions and pseudo-barf, haven't got the time to see us. So, instead of the joke project Mr. Tarbeck envisioned, we decided it was time for some serious business. First, we quizzed the locals about the mystery. Believe me, it wasn't easy finding anyone on the streets in this Arctic weather. Do you know where the Johnson Smith Company is on Automation Drive? Automation Drive? No, I don't. I'm not from the area, so I really wouldn't know. Lee! Do you know what Automation Drive is? Yeah. Automation? Automation Drive. Automation Drive. Automation Drive. I'm like that. How long have you lived here? Uh, for about three months now. I'm from Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville? Oh. Yes. Did you ever buy any fake vomit when you were a kid? Fake vomit? <laughs> no. <laughs> work seven days a week, man, nine hours a day. They claim they work hard, but we can't find anybody that's ever heard of the place that lives here. No, nope, me either. Well, no help here. If anyone in Mount Clemens knows anything about Johnson Smith, the Mr. Big of belly laughs, their lips are sealed. So how do we breach the walls surrounding this fortress of fun? Hmm. We decided to bring out the heavy gun. I'm the heavy gun. Ask my friend. This is Don Smith, Emmy Award winning producer, Peabody recipient. <coughs> Shaw. The founder and director of our local programming operation. He'll get us in. Just watch. Hello. Yes, this is Don Smith. Is my stupid brother Johnson there? Didn't work, sir? Shut up. We wrote, we called, we cajoled, we tried walking in the door. We can't make a thing to We can work if necessary. Alert, alert. Wait for us! We gave up. Instead, we turned to the good book. No, no, not the Johnson Smith catalog, the good book. And took the advice, by their works ye shall know them. It's here. More great stuff from Johnson Smith. What, what, what's that you got there, Bob? This, this is a rotating spaghetti fork. What do you do with it? You rotate spaghetti. Mmm, good. And next time you find your back against the wall in a dark alley, you'll certainly want to have this trusty pocket comb. 
Chris! How you smell? Smell, man. Have you smelled these things? No, I don't want to squirt water on them. What do you think? Somebody's gonna fall for this thing. <laughs> you got a pen? Ed, you lose. Darn it. Amuse your friends and win every bet. As long as you have stupid friends who always call tails. But of course, we say the best for last. A marriage of modern technology and timeless humor. The solar-powered propeller beanie. Tell Johnson his propeller beanie is an absolute piece of carp. Well, even though those folks at Johnson Smith Company obviously have no sense of humor, I just wanted to let you know that we here on Weekend Magazine spared no expense to give you a few laughs, and we sure hope you enjoyed it. Hey, we'll be back. What? What? Ma wait. Oh, my gosh. M Mr. Tarbeck? M Mr. Craig Tarbeck? Yes, yes. Hi, hi there. Lisa yes. Clark with WAGA in Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. I believe we've spoken to you before. Yes, you, you didn't get my reply from my secretary. Uh, yes, we did get your reply, Mr. Tarbeck, and I just wanted to let you know that as rude as it was, hey, no hard feelings, okay? Oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, huh? <laughs>